this is Micah. Did you know we do the show live every Wednesday at 7 Eastern? You can watch live exclusively at GasDigitalNetwork.com. Gas Digital members not only get the live stream, but also the video version of the show, live chat, archived episodes, plus brand new episodes five days before they go to iTunes, Google Play, or anywhere else. We have a bunch of other great shows on the network, like The Jasta Show, Legion of Skanks, High Society Radio, and many more. That's GasDigitalNetwork.com. When you check out, use the promo code SHAME and save $1 on the monthly membership. Plus, you get a 14-day free trial to see if you like it. That's just 6 bucks a month. That's GasDigitalNetwork.com, promo code SHAME, all caps, bitch, when you check out. And even if you can't subscribe, you can help us out by subscribing for free on iTunes and leaving a positive review, you pieces of shit, and a five-star rating. Thanks for listening. Add personal sign-off. <laughs> Oh my God, holy shit, look who's in charge. <laughs> Somebody's not here today. Uh oh. Somebody called in sick. <gasps> Somebody's full blown HIV, AIDS, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, has taken her out of the workforce for at least 24 hours. And that person is Micah Fox. So guess what? Karen's in charge. Welcome to Shame yeah. On, everybody. <laughs> We're just going to fucking shoot the shit. I don't care about the format anymore. I don't have to be the hot one. That's why I have you here. I'll introduce hey. my co-host in a second. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's a former guest. We had a great, we had a great time with her. Um, she's super funny. She's super cool. You guys know her. You love her. It's Wendy Starling. Oh. Wendy Starling. Thank you, Karen. It's filling in for the Jew. I know. I got a text earlier today, and she said, hey, Micah has AIDS. And I was like, is that code for she's filming another <laughs> little video for YouTube about dating tips? <laughs> she's filming movies and videos for Cosmo. Let me give you dating so tips. So mainstream. <laughs> Last time I saw that bitch, we were at, uh, what the fuck Where? is it called? Hush Money. Yeah. She comes in all punk rock, and we're taking shots. And she's like, I don't brush my hair. I'm fu-. But I didn't realize she oh was my. overcompensating because she knew this video was coming out where she was perfectly coiffed. And she's like, how to make someone fall in love with you. I- Girls, don't tell jokes. <laughs> What a fucking sellout. That's why she's not here. She's counting money. I'm like, the whole time you were talking, I'm like, Starling, you think Fox is punk rock? Like, your life must be garbage. Like, she's a nerd. She comes in with, like, two vests on. Her hair's crazy. She's like, she'll pick a person that'll tolerate her. Uh, And then she moves along. What is the problem? What? Ricky's an idiot. Why? What's not recording? What's not recording? Yeah. Yeah. It's recording. Don't worry about it. It's a little thing. You're, you're making Please something out of nothing. Please don't talk to me like Harvey Weinstein talks to women. Please. Just stop it. We're mad. <laughs> Please. We're pissed. Unless you're going to put us in a movie. If you guys are going to fuck us, talk to us like you're about to fuck us. Yeah. Okay? Don't be nice to us. No, don't like trickery. Don't buy us tea. Don't take us to meetings. Don't right. buy us tea. Ooh, don't. You were just in the mood for this guest, and I don't want to spoil it. So I was listening to... <laughs> Now listen, I love the show, so I was really trying to prep when what I was show? at the gym. Your show, which, this show. Which one? I like you both. Shame on. Shame on, yes. Every Wednesday, Gas yes. Digital. Are you, I love, God, you're the fucking best. We're promoting the show on the show. It's so, Inception. It's a so circle that, in a circle. So now that you're running the show, what are we doing? Are we going to be nice this episode, or are we going to be like extra cunty? Oh, do you think that there's levels? That's so interesting to hear. Of cuntiness? Because I kind of just like throw a pedal to the metal every episode. I kind of, I'm just like, what would the cuntiest thing about my brain say? I swear to God, I don't mean it, you guys. You guys. You're so mean to me. Everybody likes, like, Karen, you're such a bitch. You're such a fucking cunt. Like, why don't you back off? Like, relax. I'm like, no, you're guys, not. Guys, yeah. guys, guys, I'm guys. starving to death. I'm on edge. I get it. I, that's what I like about you. You're Thank always you. hungry and you're I'm, scrappy. Listen, so when you, we're in a fight. This isn't going to end well. No. Any of it. Nothing. Nothing. Every commute, you have no idea. It could end right then and there. Two minutes in. I mean, the way I speak to other people. Well, yeah, that's you're I aggressive. should be murdered every three to right. four minutes. But you're so skinny that your body is essentially just a bunch of tiny weapons. It's a <laughs> bunch of knives and bones. <laughs> 
That's why I like hanging out with you because you'll start a fight and then you'll die of starvation and then I can just break off your tibia and use it to fight other people for you. I'm like a grenade full of needles. Exactly. I love it. Okay, welcome our guests. You're doing really well. I'm oh, shocked. They, I, I'm I have, fucking stunned. You came in with four laundry bags. You I live did. here now. I did. I'm like, is this another one of Ralph's Russian horse? And I was <laughs> so gladly mistooken. <laughs> I know. Well, that's Ralph and I had an interesting interaction the first time when I did. Because you're in the same Russian crazy whore ring. There's like extra gym socks. You guys all fuck each other. You all know yep. each other who you're fucking. You have like $3 sunglasses. All of you. You're garbage people. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I never know when I'm going to... You got to change panties so you don't have some guy's cum smell on your thing. I know what I'm doing here. You know what I've noticed thus mm-hmm. far? By far. And this is probably episode 41, 42. The guest that we have on today has already surpassed each and every guest that we've had on. By way of not chiming in and bothering us before he's introduced. It's shocking. It should be noted. It should be written down. Take a time stamp, Bripke. Do something. Like, put your sleeves up. Like, fold them up a little bit. I think it's great. I'm so excited to be here for the most uninterested, <laughs> uninvolved guest. I feel honored. And I feel great. And I feel like that has a lot to do with me, and that's okay. The least excited person that's ever been in the studio for any show ever is here with us today. He's actually <laughs> left the building. So we've got to keep talking about you're skinny and I'm a prostitute until this asshole shows back up. I'll be honest, I'm still in. I'm yeah. still interested. Oh, yeah, no, I I'm, I'm good very shit. into it. It's good yeah, yeah. shit, right? That's great. Yeah. I threw up when I was like 13. I went back to ballet class. Oh. Yeah. And I got the award. I can't hear myself right now, Ricky. And I'll be okay, but you won't after the end of this. That's the you headphones. That's not me. You won't have thumbs. You can't, you can't move new too Mr. much. You're new You can't move too much. Yes, I can't move too little. I know. You our can't guest, move enough. Our guest today is a comic. He's a gamer. He's a very strong social media following. Um, his <laughs> hair, hair is longer than mine. Um, he usually wears too many rings, and today he's ringless. Mm. So that's just that's a lesson in like you know how complicated people are, you know right. the choices they make, because they'll always surprise you. Well, and he's maybe listened to the show, and so he knows it's like when you're going in for a roast battle. You're like, I normally wear a lot of rings and look like a weird magician. I've never listened to the show. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Leach, Jeff Leach is. I here. just thought I'd be polite. Yes, that's a I'd great. Be, ooh, that's a good entry. Quintessentially that got British me. and white until I was introduced, <laughs> and you know, not ran your parade. I'm, I'm an ally, ladies. I'm not the enemy. And I don't want to. I love bringing him around black women because it's fireworks. It's crazy. Yeah. Because you would say things so like that. So much sexual tension. No, 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 no. Um, because you see stuff like that, and they leap down your throat so quickly. Yeah. It's fascinating. Well, I'm it's a like white, the, straight, cisgender male. I'm everything that's wrong in the world. So. Yeah, like you say cisgender. Wait, like, I'm a chick, and I don't say gay shit like that. Like, that's <laughs> gay. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Wait, they jumped out of throat, like, in a good way or in a bad way? In a I bad like, way. Well, well, like, can't, well, you can't win with the, some of these people. Yeah. Oh, I, mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, they're mad. I'm like, what are you mad? He's not unwoken enough. What time do you want to wake him up? I didn't realize what, it was this it kind of podcast. Should this be on Compound Media instead of Gas <laughs> Well, please. He's not talking about these Did he kind look through my emails? <laughs> Does he know the deals on the table? <laughs> the unwoken enough. Hold on. That sounds like a really terrible horror film. <laughs> the unwoken enough. That's like the PC version of The Walking Dead. <laughs> the- you know, I like having debates about, about race. I'm, uh, you know, I consider myself like a. A left-wing, leaning, liberal individual. No. But why? Because you know I'm not a cunt. Your height and your but skin. Tone I don't know. I like having your... I like having discussions about things, and I like asking Belief questions. Belief in colonialism. And I think that it's, it's hard to listen to an yeah to a, like you know a sort of throwback from the colonial age. Uh, with the hair of, you know, uh, a sort of a gay rocker from the 60s, question <laughs> racism and, and all its different facets. Um, yeah, but I, I don't know. I just like, I'm not allowed. We're not allowed to have an opinion. You're not allowed to have an opinion. I'm a white straight man. That's Is like, that why you picked up wrong. that fake accent? I'm going to just take my guess. <laughs> yeah. right. Is that where you picked up that fake, yeah. faggy accent? Yeah, I'm from New Jersey. Uh, I don't know. I like. Uh, yeah, so I like I like discussing everything, but sometimes the conversations are great. It depends how much alcohol is involved. That's it depends very, how very how uh, militantly against hearing other people's opinions people can be. Like I, I, I'm, I'm liberal, but I don't think every Trump supporter is a uh, a piece of shit. I think some of them might just be you know retarded. So I kind of like to have. Or do you the think they just want money? Do you think that money is the religion they decided on? You can't talk me out of my religion. I, this is yeah. my faith. This is my being. This is what I believe in. It's money. 
So talk me off this crazy idea I have. Yeah, no, I know some people. Some of the guys, you know, and then I uh, <clears throat> used to fuck some real rich guys here. They're like Trump's a dick, but they voted for him. Because yeah. You said you fucked an Dang. English guy just before we went live. You said, oh, I fucked an English guy once. I did. What, that was um, a call forward to when I rape you. I put ah, something okay. in your beard, you <laughs> fucking loser. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking I was liberal. like, look, here's the thing. I said, I got to try to like take Mike's place. If I can't talk enough shit, I'm just going to physically <laughs> rape the guys <laughs> after the just show. Just fuck him. <laughs> Jokes on you. I've been uh, I've been well, self-administering for years, so I'm completely immune to it. Like like a snake bite. You know, you can make yourself immune to the poison yep. by taking a little of a, of a woman. Yeah, so you can never. That's rape true me. because people think that Jeff and I have fucked and we have not. Really? Who thinks that? Well, there was a rose show written about <laughs> everyone it. that Karen's what? ever spoken to, <laughs> anyone that Karen has ever talked to. Are you serious? <laughs> Are you Do you serious? know I fucked an Englishman? Do you know I fucked hey, a hey, prince? Don't, don't Wait, fucking move page, on from that. Who, when, the when, prince of Wales. When and where? When and where did that, that get said? No, no, no. Um, I, I'm at during, a, during at a, a rose at battle. And a me funny. <laughs> <laughs> it was at a roast, uh, roast battle. There was a joke written about it. And who, I was, was the, who was the, oh, who was the person about, roasting? Uh, Someone said something. Kim goes, Karen's a skinny bitch. She goes, hey, I fucked Jeff Leach. <laughs> 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 so Get off my back. <laughs> Fuck, I'm doing my best. <laughs> Karen's career is going nowhere. I fucked Jeff Leach. It's going all right. It's funny. You wow. can take it. It's like it, that's that's you know what? That's where you're at. You're like a seesaw. You're an, either an insult or like a maybe not a compliment. But like yeah, you don't know. Like I'm, I'm having. It I'm like a, I'm like a palate cleanser. Hurt. You don't really know. I'm not like the no, main meal. I'm not He's like the you are garbage. you are the peach sorbet of dick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very boring palate cleanser, and you try to cover it with a flashy I'm, jacket. I'm the only comedy seller comedian least famous enough to actually have fucked you if that were the truth. It's funny that you brought up the comedy cellar because that's my favorite thing about Jeff. That's the running rumor is that like you don't belong there. Like you snuck your <laughs> way into the comedy cellar. I he, did, like yeah. He did like and, and, and suddenly he started getting spots. That's my I mean. That's yeah, because I've never. No, I'm not a famous comedian, but I get around uh, to watching a lot of shows, and I have done a couple myself. So where do you? Hey, pre- listen. If you're watching them while your toes are just drying, like most, you're a part of it. You're like a most people from yeah. my part of the world, I was working behind the bar, and I just slowly meandered bit by bit by bit onto stage, and eventually, oh, interesting. I was doing spots. Yeah. Yeah. Is that true? No, of course it's not. No, I'm a well, fucking great fuck, comedian. I was trying to be. <laughs> Your moment That's with you because I don't know anything that. about I've, you. I've moved beyond the five minute spots of the grizzly pear that Karen does, and I'm now performing in no Wait, professional venue. Wait, why did venue. you start attacking me because I denied that we had intercourse? When did we become less than friendly? I thought we were on like a really good. I thought we were in a really good place. Why do first... people think you guys fucked? How do you all know each other besides? Because we're friends. Besides, like, a, ma- a male and female comic are not allowed to be friends without people thinking that you had sex. But I wouldn't go anywhere near you because you're Lewis's ex-girlfriend. And like, I don't fuck people that have dated people AIDS. that I'm friends with. <laughs> but how did no, you but that's it. It is like literally you have some kind of sexually transmitted disease I mean, that I don't want to... Listen. That's how it works, though. Listen, you realize for certain I, yeah, people. That's, certain damn men, it. You can't say stuff enough, like that on podcasts. It's true, though. Okay? Why? Because there's, really, there's no, two reasons. Can't. One. Please. What? One. Please. One. Talking about him? No, one. I mean, well, you're just so... Go ahead. One, there's no... There's enough women to have sex with in the world that you don't need to fuck people you're friends with exes. First of all, that's like a thing that I think is a big no-no. That's like a breeder and secondly, comment. Secondly, I just, you know, you're too skinny. First of all, I've got like 15 pounds. And keep since you were six years old, sure. But yeah. I mean like... What are you? You're, and, just, you're too and, thin. and are we keeping a timeline? I like and, girls who are and. athletic, but I, I'd worry about you. Like, I'd, I'd, really? If, yeah, if we'd we ever dated in a relationship, I'd be constantly trying to like... Right I'd be trying now. to feed you and being like, come on, baby. She'd like, it's so why interesting that he's like, he, like, he flipped on me so quickly. No, I'm being honest with you. You wanted to You wanted to be honest. Also, you said right, I didn't belong in the comedy cellar. You're a fucking bitch. Yeah. Did I say that? Did I say that? Um, you said that was the rumor. You implied it was a very. I'm not like you're just like shooting the messenger. I like like oh, the yeah? way that I phrase things. I'm like this is sort of like the no. I mean, this is the, this is the information that's being passed around. Yeah. I'm a news source. I'm not like I'm, I'm not a decider. I'm not inventing these these things. You know what? I'm not a that's fiction a great, writer. You know I'm what? Not, I'm not a, Stephen King. Let me say you know that is a, I'm not writing a oh horror film about your life. I don't even know why you have life. a guest on. What's the point of having a guest on? <laughs> It's a great rumor to have about me. I think if someone, if everyone thinks that someone shouldn't be out of place and yet they're there as a regular, then something special happens. Yeah, you got him, Jeff. I, did, I mean, I did because I'm getting paid <laughs> money to perform at the best venue in America. I it's know, fucking I great. Know, I know. So it doesn't really bother me. I think I think there's a million reasons to hate me. Uh, that's the least popular. <sighs> okay. What give oh, give me your top top three reasons to hate Jeff Leach? I want I need to get in, in America on this, we, amongst know. the American comedy fraternity, it's sorority, whatever the fuck you want to call it. You say fraternity first, which connotes male. Why yeah. male? Ah, because you know there's more men in comedy. Oh, 
I mean, it's a, it's I mean, still, an old, it's still a big boys ones. club, isn't it? Isn't it still a big boys club? Girls. It is. Am I right? <laughs> Come on. That's why this is the longest uh, my hair has been reasons. in years. <laughs> what? Well, f- first of all, yeah. So I cut my tits off and it's shaved atrocious. my head. I was like, I need people to like, listen to these punchlines. <laughs> I'm so I'm so sexy. It's a boys club. You could just it's pretend atrocious. to be a lesbian. Why don't you just do that? Start wearing plaid. Uh, butch it up a bit. Done it. Actually, you don't need to butch it up at all. I think I, you're already there. Like, I'm, just, I'm there, baby. <laughs> already there. Just fucking, yeah. I'm yeah, am I right? You know when you're eating some pussy? That's what, that's what you're opening line. That's right. normally what I say. Yeah. You, so you have seen me. You I have, have seen, seen you. I have seen you. I like say, that. hey, you guys like eating pussy, and then I eat pussy. I eat someone's pussy on stage. Yeah. It's my closer. <laughs> it's fucking great. So have talk- you ever actually eaten pussy? Uh, yes, I have. Oh. Yeah. Have you? No, did you do I've it? Wait, did you do it because you were ex- super excited, or because it was just an exploration in college, or because you went, "Oh, maybe I'm into girls only." That's. Uh, I was dating a chick. Or were you forced to do it at gunpoint? Was no, it? No, I was dating a chick, and then I did. I uh, sat a sex party. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm a real fun lady. I'm a. It's been. It's been. You documented. guys are both good time girls. I think that's why I respond yeah, to girl. both of you. You yeah. know what I mean? Like you're both good hangs. You like talking shit. You know, you like getting weird. You're not embarrassed. Like you guys are fun. You're fun people. Yeah, we both showed up to this place with wet hair. Neither yeah. of us had our mascara done, right? Is your no, nor- you seem like I a guy who would wear? You seem like a kind of dude who would walk around with eyeliner. I used to, and then uh, I, I got so tired of the. Um, I still get them, but the Russell Brand comparisons. I was like, oh, I just have to stop wearing r- eyeliner, I guess. And then it still happens anyway. So. Yeah, well, I can see well, the earrings get, under your head. Now folks, my you're hair doing is a little fine. shorter. I get a lot of like, oh, you like Crystalia? I get Crystalia a lot, a lot. Remember, he's a disgusting nightmare. Who, uh, Crystalia? Yeah, the only reason he's even is because of his dad. So remember we were at that BAFTA event? Sure. And that guy Martin. Oh, this very old lawyer. This guy what? was so old, right? So I went I, t- I took I took care into a, a BAFTA event. We it's like had it's like a fun. British Oscars, you know, it's like kind of I thing. know what it is. I fucked a couple <laughs> of British guys. And Talent. I have a passport. I have you a passport. You realize that was for the benefit of the viewers and the listeners, <laughs> not for you. Anyway, it's always are, about me. I know I know you don't plan to have anyone actually listen to the podcast, but <laughs> There's a few. Keep, I saw the three reviews on iTunes. On. What do you What do you have after this, Lee? Shut uh, the fuck up, I got dude. Spot in your Stop comedy shitting on my wicked cool. I'm uh, coming don't belong. to the cellar. We're going to have fun. It's going to be a um, No, but the, uh, I took her to this event, and there was a, a, a lawyer, an entertainment lawyer, who was about Martin. 800 years old. You and he was if you quite were taken there, I would have worked him for my. If you oh. were there, we'd have a boat. I'm telling yeah. you right now, Wendy, if you were there in this during this interchange, exchange, whatever it was. Yeah. He you he like messaged me on Facebook like two l- days later. Jeff, he's like Martin doesn't think what you gave him was a real email address. No, like, it was yeah. a phone number. You gave him a phone number and he emailed, <laughs> he emailed me and said, "Hey, I tried to text Karen and the number didn't work." <laughs> just... Where's he from? From Denmark? I oh, know from uh, Netherlands. Yeah. No, from Netherlands. He was from he was from uh, he was from fucking Amsterdam he or some shit like that. He was probably like, "Hey, listen, I tried to." Uh, she had, she had the text message to uh, mm-hmm. to good, Ke- very good, to Karen. very she, good job. She, I don't think the number is right. Can you please send me her number? So I text her and I'm like, "Did you give a fake number to that old creepy?" And guy I was who like, "Leave me you. alone, Jeff. Yeah. I don't like you like that." And then that. she sent me a pussy pic. <laughs> and I was like, stop, bo- stop bothering me. <laughs> well, Here's the only number you need to worry about too. Two, these two lips. <laughs> Fucking don't worry about it. Did you give them the number to Gas Digital? Stop. They wish they had a landline. We can't hear ourselves. So I gave him we, your home address. And I said, look, do what you can. And uh, no, I don't know. You just you gave him a I fake number. Because no, he was an old guy. But you shouldn't be giving your number out to fucking ancient guys. Unless if your you number is r- five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, nine. Yeah, why not? Have some fun. <laughs> He's going to die. Who cares? That guy was a hundred. That guy was a freckle. But he thought, he was a I'm going to take this young piece of ass so out, let him and sing I'm that like, and I'll wink at him and I'll be like this is all on you Martin we're having a ball but like you're then, weird like if you can't manicure yourself you realize I'm not I'm not I'm not defending no, old know, men who are trying to I'm not a Harvey no, Weinstein support I, my point is well, I had is fun that, with him that afternoon didn't I yeah, I'm just saying, don't fucking involve me in your weird How did I? old daddy. Because you, you I think it's end a- up hitting me up to get the fucking da- information. Leech, I was like, dude, I don't know. So full so of wait. shit. That was all you. In wait. that moment, you were like, come here, Martin. Let's hang out. I love Martin. Martin's from Denmark. So now, were you guys? You both- would have sucked no, him I'm jealous faster because than I, I wanted would. to fuck him, and he's not interested in you. You man. said it. You were like, I'll suck your fucking. I got dick, a pilot. Martin. I need shooting, and I got. I need. I need a hundred thousand to Do make. You know it what you guys should have done is like, you know that. What's that couple? And I think you guys could pull it off. You're the psycho. You seem nice because you got long hair, you know, and you're I'm like. I'm a sociopath, I guess. Yeah. But, well, that jacket, I mean. 
Yep. I can't. It, that's that's you like should, if you're gonna wear a jacket like, like that. I moonlight as, like, a, as a drag artist. Yeah, I'm really cool. so you moonlight as Kesha. <laughs> Gluna La Belle. It's my fucking evening name. You yeah. should shout out the designer if you're gonna wear a jacket like that. Like you should tell people who made this. Uh, yeah, where'd you get that? I mean, you won't believe me if I tell you. So it doesn't matter. You won't believe Tell me. us. Tell us, man. It, that, he I, stole what? it from Martin. He murdered that guy. He there's stole a, there's it from a whole him. story about it. I bought a nice jacket from Scotch and Soda, original, and then I went to a comedy show at the cellar. And after the show, two girls came up to me and were a bit drunk and were like, "We're gonna both fuck you tonight." And I said, <gasps> "That Lucky. sounds like a." I said, "That sounds <laughs> wonderful." <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Don't be joking. And then they went with me to the, my next comedy show, and one of them got way too drunk at Gotham. One of them got way too drunk, and a Can't friend get, had to take her home. It's like a library. And as club. we were all making out outside the club, and she was putting her in a cab, one of them had a cigarette. It lent on my jacket, and it burned a hole. So then I went back to London. I went and bought this material, and I took it into a tailor in London, and then we sewed it together. And he helped me like stitch it on. Oh, so you so had I that did, made I together. Did, now, yeah, is he yeah. going to wear a matching one when you guys get married? No, he was just like it's a gay sweet. Italian dude. It's a very in, romantic in story. Yeah, but it was like, and it was depressing because I, I, didn't, I didn't get the threesome. I just got one girl came with me. So now here's, I want to ask you this, and I know we're supposed to do shame on and talk shit too, but I'm actually very interested because I've never met you. And so this yeah. is the first rule. Also, it's shame like, on. Don't I say this is like, so, it's so easy to talk shit to me. I feel like that's all that's happened to me since I moved to America. Oh, my victim, my little bee. I'm not oh, being a victim. No. I'm oh, saying that's a very American thing. You ate 800 pounds. The the moment, you're eight foot the, moment nine. the moment I you're turned the up and I phoned you like, hey, I've want to get in? You're like, oh, are you trying to get in? Oh, yeah. It's just, it's an instantaneous <laughs> reaction for Americans. As soon hey, as I'm trying it, to have fun. So you're like, let me fucking well, to ruin be fair, this guy's we're both life. on loads of drugs, so that's part of the thing. Oh, there you go. And you do dress, a, I mean, you have the long hair and I see the little tiny little earring. You dress a little bit like a genie. A teeny bit like a genie. <laughs> like a genie? <laughs> like a teeny, a teensy bit you're like a genie. wearing the ring. I feel like a, 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 more, a more like a Latino hairdresser. Why were you going to say that you had a question? No, yeah. So first of all, where are your rings because Karen earlier said she said uh, she goes well, I wear them some days and some days I don't oh because... it's not a ring when's ring day you putting them on before your shows tonight <laughs> no I won't I'm going to go straight from the you're going to scoop mashed potatoes with your skull ring I think it's and nice eat them nice. with your here's, face here's the thing like everyone shits especially in the New York comedy scene what does that noise right. mean Ricky does everyone, that mean we're everyone, getting bomb everyone likes to no that's um, an update that just automatically does on the computer everyone likes to shit on um on people for looking and dressing differently in Ameri in American oh, comedy. Oh, right. It was so, like, no, closed-minded no, in fucking I mean, New York. It's, it's no weirdos here. It's like, this is like being Fuck on a podcast with a seven-year-old child and, like, every now and then just being like, all right, so just I'm let young. her have a moment. Her parents are rich. <laughs> this is how she acts. <laughs> But then, but then here's the thing, every single comic who, like, or not every single, but a huge amount of the big name comics is because they think were a little suck. bit different or a little bit uh, <laughs> out there. So that kind of brought them to the forefront. I think you should be a caricature on stage, that's certainly an element of it. Even someone like Louis C.K., who is meant to be archetypally the man's comedian, you know, including jerking off in front of his support right. acts. Like, he's, his, his act is, I'm this... Dowdy, I only ever wear a black t shirt, right. black pants, fucking 40. What is he jerked off in front of you? You I wish. Let, you he purposely plucks uh, the top wish. of his head so he looks like he's balding. We've Karen all heard the rumors. I mean, he's, like, he's like, hey, I'm playing like that. He's, he's got an act. Stuff. He's got an act, right. which is never have a big intro, never have an opening. You know, I just walk out and go, blah, 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 stop it, stop right. it. Right. And you're like, I'm a British like, lesbian biker. Got him. That's how you do comedy. I like that. Yes, I am a British lesbian biker. Thank you so much. <laughs> God damn, am I so? And your accent wasn't too bad as well. See, that's the worst thing is I can't stand poor acting ability. Well, what do you think about mine? I mean, let's not say. What do you else. think? What's I feel like you're, you're, you you went to the Dick Van Dyke school of British accents, <laughs> oh, and he kicked you out. Oh. It's almost. It's and I'm gonna do a terrible one now because I can kind of do one, but it's almost when you're doing an accent, you almost have to act like you're not doing one. When and are you, you gonna to, start doing the accent? Fuck off! I was. See, I was not oh, doing it. it. Oh, uh, you know what? Accents. Bright red. I, I know. Now I got bright red. I don't like I, was, I hate doing an accent. So much foundation. You can't see You're the bright red. You're just performing in front of my right. friends. No, no, I'm all sweaty. I'm not doing any more accents. <laughs> Take all your clothes I'm not out. doing any more accents. And I'm driving. This is going exactly how I planned. <laughs> Everybody just kidding. The you started to shut so up. She's smart. taking her clothes off. This is wonderful. <laughs> Isn't this nice? I, I like this, this whole thing. This Nobody is how I hope that night would have gone in the comedy cellar when those yeah. two girls approached me. Yeah, so no, you, get, you must get tons and tons of pussy. No, no, no you think that. But um, first of all, in LA. I don't LA, know if he wants pussy. He's not very LA, aggressive. Out in LA, um, uh, there's, everyone's got a fucking accent. They don't give a shit about it. And they don't like actors or comedians. 
No. And then in New York, again, it's a very much a metropolitan uh, city. People want to fuck people when they're drunk at the end of a, a night. Like, I used to get well, it's not even just the accent thing. When it's... comics, after I get off stage, girls will come up to the comics and be like, hey, you're really funny. Because they go like, oh, well, Louis C.K.'s gone, and Dave Chappelle's gone, and uh, whoever the other famous act is gone. The that guy, means you waited the, that wait, hour the for guy, them to leave. The guy yeah. I don't really know who's on last. No, it's because I'm always put on last by Essie. Hit but the me guy again. Who, see what I do, the guy who, the guy who's <laughs> Hit me again. The guy who's, uh, the guy who's on, the guy who's on uh, you know, last comic standing that I don't really know his name, he's gone Louis as well. J. Fuck Gomez. It, I'll fuck this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I hit on Jeff Leach because he's like still here, you know. So, so yeah. You just hang around and they're like, "Should we fuck that homeless guy?" I think he was on there stage. You You're just sleeping out in front of the. I'm just gonna stay here for the. You guys do a brunch show on Sundays at four, right? That's you twelve know what? hours. I moved out to LA and I joined the gym and I didn't have a place to sleep. I was worried about your and weight loss journey because I feel like got you were a tan, on it. Grew my hair out. Grew my beard out, and I was like, I'm like every other homeless guy in Venice Beach. Like, I'm working out with a tan, nowhere no, to live. No, they live this in that depressing. hole. They live, it looks like an obstacle course for rescue dogs. Yeah. All those tents that they get to climb through and jump over, all those rings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're going to be homeless, though, that's a pl- Do you live in LA I've- now, Jeff? Yeah. Did you get distracted by something on the computer, the bright lights? No, I was just trying to wonder where my career had gone. Well, I'm, I'm, oh, it is, I'm, like, it is just, done after this. Where is it? Yeah, this is the end. You're here with us. No, I'm sorry. If you have something to promote, please feel free. (laughs) Wait, so you live... I know I grew up in L.A., so you live in L.A.? Which part? Uh, I'm I'm living in Venice now. Oh, so you... I like Venice. It's cute. Yeah, it's nice. It's It's fine. It's like the Hampton Beach of L.A. People don't feel like they're... I don't feel like everyone there is pretending like they're achieving. I couldn't live in... I've, I've lived for very brief periods in, like, Hollywood, you know, West Hollywood, North Hollywood, and Franklin Village and around that area, and everyone there is on a constant... Performance. But it's like of, fuck everything's LA, great. Like, Life be, is amazing. This this week, like in New York, has been amazing. It's just New, like, first cynicism of all, is like, so beautiful. There's like hardly yeah. any winter in New York anymore. It's only like three months it's, out of the year. Yeah. So like live in fucking New York. New York is way cooler. There's way more shit going on. It's way more congested, full of talent. Yeah. Like LA and all that stuff is fun and great. It's like the problem, the biggest problem, the biggest difference. The biggest is the problem fucking is laws. gas digitals cameras in this studio Why? being at an angle that a highlights my horrendous acne that i've had for the last few days <laughs> oh my god from that look angle that. how bad does that look look it looks Why even as is, almost as bad as yours up. karen except and i, I don't have makeup and i can see your widow's and then peak. also oh that's always been huge but it's making my five from head look angle. like a six heads today this is what happens when you, you look like you, you want to break people Jeremy down. from that angle i like that you could have like popped it down a little bit but you're like no fuck it let's really make them hate themselves and now we're just looking at ourselves is this good radio it really but like Wendy, you look amazing. Oh, I look terrible. Well, this encourages people to no, download the video version. Right? Yeah. There you go. You want to get those aesthetic based visual hilarious. jokes, then you have to download. Everybody's tits look great. Shame Jeff, on. your tits look great. Even in a t shirt, I can see a little tit popping out. A little tit pop. So, were you trying to lose weight or what's going on? Karen was saying you were trying to. You were no, I did. I lost, Thank yeah, you I for lost bringing like... it back. Thank you for bringing it back to the problem at hand. I think that a lot of people, what's on their minds lately as far as like the comedy community. You know, it's concerned for me anyway. It's right. like the loss of life recently of Ralphie May, who was the hugest woman I've ever seen in my right. fucking life. Holy shit, what and a big fat. That dad. was the first thing I thought when I saw Jeff walk in. I was like, here we go. It's a, this is Ralphie May part two. Here's he's another next, one. Like, he's one go, yeah. on that road. So fat. Yep. You know, it's it's a rocky road. do look phenomenal. Bigger Thank than both you. of ours put together. I mean, that's not a difficult oh, yeah. task to achieve. I, um, Here's the thing, like British people, because this is what the show's about, right? Yeah. I I don't. You are running this show. I'm. Who said? I guess it's like I have to. Like I was texting Mike and I'm like, let's just like call in sick. She's like, I am sick. You're fine. I'm like, all right, but I'm gonna call in sick too. <laughs> um. But here's my thing. I'm tired of fucking canonizing addicts. I don't think that we have to, like, treat people. Says the person who has been hitting the pipe all day. Here's my thing. I love you, and, I, and I'm and i an addict. And you know we talk about Yeah, stuff. but, Mike, you listen to the like the, the, the predicate, the verb, the yeah. word. Like, can it? Like, let's stop acting. Right. Don't zoom in on it as well, dude. Jesus, I can't believe you're zooming what in is on he my doing? terrible skin. Well, he's got to do mean? something, because the, the point of this podcast is to shame the guests. And we're kind of being friendly and having a normal conversation. <laughs> I'm already as depressed as you can possibly and so get about just, yourself. He's Don't just worry. zooming in. Where on are you Jeff staying Adney? when you're in New York? You're an international comedian, yeah, right? In you're in the, at the cellar the West, every West night. Village. I'm standing in the West Village. On whose couch? Uh, my buddy Seth and his wife Pilar. Seth. 
He's not a comedian. I don't, um, my, my best friends are not comedians. Mm. <laughs> not comedians. Why not? You don't think that we're like, I don't like think, Myers? I think, I think uh, it's good to have comedian friends, but I think it's dangerous to only have comedian friends because they're fucked in the head. We're all Oh, know, it's a nightmare. Unhinged. I mean, he's a, he's a therapist. That? My buddy Seth is a therapist with kids in the Bronx. He's like the most well-balanced, able to deal with, you know, dramatically... Yeah, my best friend is a paralegal, but emotionally she's going to fucking people. kill me. For sure. For what? <laughs> For whatever. I mean, you can you can have these like balanced situations and different people have more balanced, different schedules. Your best friend's a paralegal. Where does she work here? No. Not like in this building. Is she in New York? Where is she? <laughs> like, why? Not why? like does she work for Gas I'm Digital? Like, I know she's listening. What's the next question? <laughs> <laughs> I like, yeah, like and I love her. She's my best friend, but like what do you hate most about her? <clears throat> I don't hate her. I don't hate her. No, Sometimes. but you hate something about her. No, it's say not that I hate it, her. Say it. It's not that I hate her. Like, certain relationships... She's listening. This is your chance. There's, like, no recompense. You couldn't uh, do she this would, We've had this conversation. She, this wouldn't be shocking to her. I hope it wouldn't be. But we we sort of... Our relationship is she's a little bit dependent on me. And, like, I've, like, yelled at her before about, like, being brave and, God, like, taking so the wheel. Tired. What? I look so old. Stop looking. You are old and tired. Why don't you tired. put a screen How? here? Like, Stop it. How you look, look great at... on the screen. You look really good on the screen, actually. Well, I... You know, what I, you know what it is? Look at how fast it's Ricky's that, leg is shaking that. right now. This is because this is all a plan. This is a conspiracy yeah. to make me Yeah, he's like bumped up the game, like the exposure aliens. on this side of the camera. I and get Wendy it. And it's just going to pump my... And I don't have female. makeup on. Just and I got leave this, it on Wendy the whole time. I bought this thing at the Goodwill before I came here. Where'd you get your bra from, Wendy? Because you were having that pop out a little while and it looked pretty trendy Calvin Klein are you allowed to compliment a lady on her lingerie if she's kind of if the, it's an A cup or smaller yes I mean mine are B cups <laughs> but if they're not out they're just wide he looks like a wolf <laughs> or oh, the hands I yeah. know <laughs> Or a hobby, I guess. <laughs> like a wolf. It's like middle-aged wolf. That's he like the follow-up to the movie. <laughs> Terrible at sports because collagen is breaking down. Middle-aged. I'm 33. I he fucking looks hate you. Like You're 33? So I didn't realize this was going to be... This is gonna be uh, I have got face cream in my bag I'll let you use. You're yeah, 33? I really am, yeah. You smoke cigarettes? No, I used to. I got oh, it 10 years ago. Son of a bitch. I thought Wait you said he was cool, Karen. I thought Wait a you minute. said he was cool. He's a wolf. <laughs> you haven't felt the wrist. It's like a full, like... It's a lot. It's so a lot it's of a hair. It's wrist. like it's really, and it's all the way high up. It's like it's like that uncle that you're like, don't sit on Uncle Mark's lap for too long. <laughs> Just get in and get out. <laughs> yeah, that's what. That, well, that's when you're getting fingered by your uncle. You don't want it to be to be romantic. <laughs> that's how our family. They were like, hey, Uncle Mark is in there. Get in and get out. You know what has to be done if get you want your twenty dollars. Okay? Get your twenty dollars. I want you to give him a hug afterwards. That's the most important part. You can come all over his hand if you want. <laughs> But what seven-year-old come on someone's hand if it isn't with a hug? Do you know, Wendy? That's your blood. That is your blood. <laughs> Curtsy, show me what I taught you. Yeah. Do the little spin, you know? You guys are very edgy. Very edgy. Well, I'm trying to yes and the shit out of this. Why do you have to peel back the curtain like that? Like, I am not. This fourth wall has been built up <laughs> in such a way. <laughs> Look at Ricky's like. Um, I think that I learned a lot about uh, the United Kingdom, <laughs> Britain, Wales. When? Uh, the IRA. Um, that's what I'm into. Yeah. Stuff like that, like you Bloody like- Sunday stuff, like Protestants, like fucking Irish people, like well, fighting English guys. Like that's what I'm jerking off to right for now me, <laughs> in my mind. I found a way to like sort of masturbate while doing like bicep curls at my desk. <laughs> at your job. What are you talking? I love that you're saying I now, you know, I know I'm supposed to be shitty to you, but I love that she's so off her rock or high that now I we're know. talking about her job. Well, the problem is this bitch got money and this is what happens. I know. I said that from the beginning. It's she's the got, worst she, thing that you know, could have you happened. You know that she it's got the, a job where she's making a lot of money. Now when I get extra money, that's because I was, you know. What are you doing? What are you get? How are you getting? Uh, <laughs> what are you getting paid for? I appreciate my money because I've had. A, I've had. You a, have a budget. Like you'll sell a pair of underwear, and you're like, I'm good till after Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> a pair of underwear. What? What have been worn? Is it like one of those? Yeah, weird no, I used to do that. Cam girl thing. <laughs> no, it's not a cam girl thing. Is you? I mean, although I probably could do cam work. Hi. <laughs> huh? If she Ricky's running like, the lighting, she looks like Marilyn Monroe. Like it's like but so like, upsetting. Like present day in the if cast. They I do need her up rouge. This I need makeup. It's like a big popular thing in the. Uh, it seems in the female uh, comedian sorority in America. There's quite a lot of ex sex workers or people who might be done that kind yeah. of stuff. Yeah. Well, what know? else are we good for? I know. Now you, I used to sell my panties. Um, You're fucking high, man. You are so high. I know, high. and she keeps pointing the thing. 
You're like a, you're like the drunken <laughs> auntie, uh, uh, like a I don't know some Italian kids. You're the drunk auntie that forces <laughs> the kids into Uncle Mark's some Italian weird closet. Kids communion. You're there just like, oh come on, come <laughs> over here. Sometimes Tell just, your auntie she's cute. I just like like to do like social experiments. You know what I mean? Just like, like bring some people together, see what happens, throw some stuff. And, Are you uh, like one of this? Is is this like a I dinner party thing? I can't wait to thing? leave an Amazon uh, an iTunes review. I thought you were gonna podcast. say I can't wait to leave this building. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> was like. Hey, I'm with you. I made Ricky you're, laugh. I got it. Between, you. You're reading between the lines. I, I made Ricky laugh. That was my goal. I thought he said an Amazon, as in like an Amazon woman or human yeah. being. I cannot like, wait to leave. Amazonian. Yeah. Oh, just in general. <laughs> the the planet, this body. I'm so, I was I was having a real shitty well, day. I'm kind of excited by death. No, I don't I don't want it to happen soon. Right. But I think that you either I'm, I feel like you get answers when you die. You get oh answers. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm answers. could be completely answers. wrong. You yeah, get but I feel I'm kind of excited by it. I mean, it's the only certainty we all have in right. life is that we're all going to fucking die, and without being too morose and no, emo. I'm into it. How do you want to die? Do you have a oh, way? Yeah, why don't we listen to you fucking try and string a sentence together whilst you <laughs> baked off your tiny little beasting tits? Let's let's hear oh that. Oh my god! Come on, fucking throw us some comedy, Karen. Is this? There we go. Five minutes Save of the grizzly fart. pear next week, ladies and gentlemen. Now, fart, check her out. now, for now, to be fucking, fair, farting is very funny. Yeah. To she will be, a, she will be I wanna, opening, I'm opening for someone at a bringer show <laughs> in fucking Hoboken. Whenever I'm in the bed, I'm now, in bed before all of you. I'm asleep. I'm having a great time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think I'm I think sorry. I think I think we get answers when we die. So now, uh, well, how do you have any like? As do you think far it just goes death? black? A lot of people think it just goes black. That's it. It's done. Oh no, I believe we're living in a simulation. Don't even get me started on this. Oh really? And I'm not high, and I think about this all the time. I really do. I have, uh, I've had interesting things where like I I. Have had conversations and like daydreaming, not I'm not high, where I've had conversations. Did you used to do a lot of narcotics. Though? Nope. Really? No. You look like you did once. Well, but you're just. And no, I don't I, mean that as an insult. You no. just look like a kind of girl who ah, did some acid did, back in the day. I've never done acid. I've never done shrooms. I didn't do cocaine until I moved to New York two and a half years ago. Oh wow! Give it I up, like, NYC. Hey, how? And yeah. then I did it. First time I did coke, I did it off a black guy's dick in a tranny yes. bar called the Box in the near this in this neighborhood. So I'm a very fun lady. Um, the Box is a performance space. Yeah, it's not a tranny bar. Oh, then I'm thinking of another place. <coughs> the House of Yes. I don't know. It was the house. It was the house of yay. Isn't that uh, slang for drugs? I'm very old and 35, and I don't know. And I do drugs, but I, I'm not cool talking about them. I mean, I, I, I get that there's. I feel Shit. like there's something more going on. I'm with you on that. Oh, there's for sure something. But I think a lot of mine is due to having done a lot of drugs when I was younger. You so know? you didn't have to say okay. So I'm pretty certain some of the weird shit that goes in my head is because I used to do acid and ketamine and coke. And all now, that don't shit. you think that maybe ketamine? Yeah. What's that like? I mean, fun at first, and then like really miserable. And then that's why when I stopped doing drugs, because like a, fr- a dear friend of mine died, at 21 years old. She like drowned in the bath. Mm. So I was like, I should probably give she it. She drowned in the bar. Well, like, in the bath. In the bath. Uh-huh. Yeah. She took a load of ketamine and got in the. In the well, bath. it sounds like a plumbing issue. Yeah, it was. It was a plumbing <laughs> issue. So yeah. So I mean. Um, so yeah. That was. That was. Oh, like so you're totally that. sober. You just don't do drugs. No, no. I drink and I smoke a bit of weed and now. I eat edibles mm. and you know, stuff like that. But I don't like. Oh well, the Bud Light. I was like that. I mean, may as well be water. You saw the Bud is, Light. Yeah. I'm like, he could well, still maybe be sober. Well, that's the only option I was given. I didn't. No, know I, I you, like, you could have dug in the bottom. Like, I got well, a good one. IPA. Well, Karen took me a Bud Light out. Oh, now who's doing bad accents? I would say Lagunitas again. <laughs> <laughs> Every British person comes over here, meets a bitch from California, and starts rolling their R's. What do you ha- what do you think happens to you when you die, Karen, in three years' time? What's going to happen? I don't plan on dying. All right, well, that's the I'm end of that. That's the end of that topic. Well, then. I, I guess can- I'm just comedy gonna- gold. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna. I think I'm just gonna keep getting younger and then kill myself. Well, that's the Botox. Yeah, that's my. Game but you're not plan. getting younger. Listen. You're getting younger I'm looking. I'm keep thinking. You're, no, your you're, body is is becoming more childlike with every loss of feminine curve. But your face but is so- aging at a rapid rate. <laughs> 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 I mean, I've got pretty bad acne, but you have got some fucking sores going on. There's one on your chest. I don't know what the fuck that is, but it's, <laughs> it's horrendous. And it looks like a sore... <laughs> Of some kind of right leprosy here, right? nature. Yeah. I would say, I, leave, I saw that. I would say leave it because if you don't, <laughs> don't, don't fix that. Just keep putting like creams. I on know. It. I think I'm just gonna wear like that. It'll like, a swell up. That'll oh. like just like cover it barely. Yeah, if you barely. keep touching it, it's gonna no. It'll spread. swell up, and that'll be great because then you'll be able to fill out a sweater. I'd let that puppy <laughs> fill out. Let it fill out. There you go. Keep playing around with it, digging in there. Yeah, just spread <laughs> it. Get it get... angry and fucking. 
Right. Inflamed. Yeah. It's right. funny it's to me. Like, it's like how it's funny because like I used to look so much worse. Like that's what's funny to me. I can't like, believe I weighed, that. That's when? No, I weighed like 20 pounds less probably like three months ago. Oh. I was way skinnier. I weighed 97 pounds. It was crazy. Crazy. Why do you hate yourself? What happened? Who hurt you? No, I just like didn't have enough time. I literally no, 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 well, there was it was a two things. It's like I didn't have enough time to eat, and my her ex boyfriend's dick was so small she had to do something to make him feel good about himself. <laughs> hey, and I'm not saying his name. <laughs> no, I would. Um, I was on. The, so I got over the counter um, asthma medication. Like right now, I'm my inhaler. It's like expensive because to get insurance, you have to like have like a really good paying job and not be like a freelancer and like just kind of hanging out. So I was like taking a pill that really suppresses suppresses your appetite. It's like it has um, ephedrine. Like you could, if you wanted to, you can make meth from it. If you wanted to. Because it had ephedrine in it. Ephedrine? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were slurring the word ephedra. Yeah, I, I, no, I, I just understood half of what you just said. You are fucking on another planet right now. The Ralphie May of pot, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah. The You're Ralphie so, May of pot. Finally, somebody I understands three my three to six trivia. months. Like, <laughs> make sure you come and see all of our shows. KarenFeehan.com <sighs> Check out live dates Because there are not going to be Many more of them uh, I wonder how we're going to Remember you Actually No one's going to remember you <laughs> No She's very Well What are you doing Get off your phone well, Remember her as the person Who ruined the show This is the last I, episode uh, You said it was all about Shit talking to each other I'm doing exactly What I you asked know. for And now you're all Fucking upset and hurt No nobody's upset I just like Sometimes you take Like a little public nap and then reattack. Okay. Like you just have to take the wheels, like just take them back, like reset. This is how this goes. Anytime we attack the host, <laughs> you guys stop. We're doing times out. Times out on it's being mean. I need stop a break. It, guys. And then it's Let's just be nice like, Give me a, a second. Oh, that's like, so weird. We'll you were, back. Oh, you guys were gonna talk shit to yeah. me. Hold on. This is weird because Ricky didn't. Make, you didn't sound this. This is compliment time in the show. First of all, do you guys even know the emails that Ricky sends us every week about all his ideas? And do you want to know how many we've implemented so far? How many? How many? How many is it, Ricky? What? How many I gave you, or how many you've implemented? Just tell them the ratio. I probably gave them like twelve in one email, and then like five in another, and they've done one. Ricky, you know what? Hey, listen. Wait, wait. First Karen, of all. I love you. Hold on. First of all, yeah. We're Ricky, maybe like, we can bring one in now. What, yeah, let's what do was it. your favorite out this of those is, seventeen ideas? What was did your I prep one you for this, didn't? Jeff? I'm sorry. Here's we're missing a talent liaison because I don't really like talking to our guests usually. Like I don't want to talk to them. Like Ricky, what's your favorite idea that you didn't get to do? Well, I wanted to do one where comics would bring in pictures of like their awkward stage. It's a great idea. And then you just. You know, you Micah and Karen would That's eviscerate a great idea. them. Yeah. Now, but yeah, right now, what you're seeing on the screen right now, I'm at my most awkward. My hairline is so high up, I look like a fucking aging vampire. My head is shiny. I've got terrible acne around my fucking hair. No, you don't look like I'm an aging stressed. vampire. Vampires are much. I'm thinner. tired. I look tired. There you go. Uh, and yeah, there you go. So right now, that's my most awkward. I don't know. I had like I had curtains. I had like boy band curtains for a period of time. That was. Kind What's of meant that? to be cool when I was like 11 years old. Oh, like old. the bangs? Yeah, no, oh, no, not bangs, not bangs, like, like like curtains, you know, like boy band, like Nick Carter, Aaron Carter, boy uh, band. Oh, I lead. bet that was how, like, were you doing, how long have you been doing stand-up? Oh, seven years. Seven years? Oh, so that's another reason why people don't, we never got back to, we started, so why don't people like you? Well, first of all, you've only been doing comedy for seven years, nerdy at the cellar. So that I can see a lot of people sure. being shitty about I've that. I've been doing it five years when I was at the cellar. That was when I, I started to. I now I was joking earlier. I am now going to sodomize you with something after this. No, but keep going. What do you have? If I push back. <laughs> what do you got? Yeah. <laughs> She it's wants not, to peg me. If you not, are not like, the first woman this week to threaten of, of pegging me. Like, there's a there's a lesbian girl who watches my Twitch streams, and she comes in every day, and she's just like, "Oh God, you look so pretty. I can't wait to peg you." I'm like, "Thanks for being." Here. Oh, you see, don't I don't there? like the. Pe- I've been asked to do it. I've done it once because really? this guy wanted me to do it. It's all right. It was. I mean, it actually was really cool. It was really powerful. It was really, like, and I the strap I on. Really, I like, don't like. You're like looking at me and saying that, but like in your yeah. head, I can see you're like. I don't have like a tongue in my asshole, but like putting in, you know, a cock-sized implement just does not remotely stimulate my senses. No, well you don't know, you have to have someone do it gently. Yeah? I'll do it very gently. We'll start with Karen's fit. Well, at least this podcast is a complete failure, then it's all right. Right. I'm going to walk away with something. Exactly, we're going to come out, and we'll we'll involve Karen, because she's going to pass out soon. 
Karen's, <laughs> Just Karen's like, done. She finished this podcast 25 minutes ago. Um, I, I know. It's interesting you guys read my copy. <laughs> because I was like, <laughs> this is when we're going to stop. <laughs> You're like, Ricky, I like push pause like when I said it. Like I just like I like being around you guys. Like I don't have any friends. So this is fun. We're not me. actually recording this. So we're act- this, this is actually been, not being recorded because we've been but trying it, to it hang has out. Been recording in my bank of enrichment for me. Oh, so it's not please. even a podcast. It's all a front so for you just yeah. to hang out with people. Thank just you guys to arrange hangouts. So much. If you could keep going for another five to ten, be I'll great. be good. <laughs> I love the idea that are you miserable? Are you miserable? Are you a miserable person, do you think? <laughs> are you a depressed person? Um, I don't think so. I think I'm pretty happy. Okay. What about you, Wendy? Oh, I'm pretty happy, yeah. Huh. Yeah, I'm actually... I mean, this is... Uh, now, how do you feel? Because this is interesting. Now, as the guest, but like a guest host, so this is strange. So now, how do you feel you've been doing as like the head of this show, Karen? Uh, terribly. I don't think that I should ever be in charge. You think this you- is why I structured it as such. This podcast was birthed from um, me being on a reality show that I didn't deserve to be on. What was that? Um, it's called My Big Fat Fabulous Life. So I shamed a fat person. That was the birth of this show, okay. right? Mm-hmm. So then I'm like, oh, we got to get somebody who can like run this shit, right? And it's like, oh, got Micah the Jew. She nails it every day, all the time, all week, every single week. Um, and I'm like, yeah, that's I can her just thing. sort You're of... feeling a little vulnerable without her here? I feel like you're feeling a little vulnerable. A hundred percent. I'm admitting it right now. I'm telling you about But Wendy's doing a great job standing in. I feel like... Of course she is. Why do you think... feeding off that power. Here's, here's the thing, though. Like, who invited Karen, Wendy here? Karen, you believe in yourself. Yeah, but and you're, you're not listening, though. I'm like, who invited Wendy here? Like, I made all this happen. That's what you're not really recognizing. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't See, understand. Look, I'm not a good conversationalist, but you know what? I invited all these really interesting people to this dinner party, and as soon as we're done eating, we're gonna all. You, this is the thing where we get murdered at the dinner party, or no? Why not? This is one of those Who crazy. Cares? Take off your jacket. Take well, I know, it but yes. it's, it's super cold in here. But in the, I mean, no, it's, no, it's hot. In take the off your. Yeah, you know why it's so hot? Because we're in here. Look at this. I got <laughs> this bra. This is called a bralette. Is what it's called. A bralette. And one day you even. Is it a bralette? Yeah. You think the 34 might be the year grow breasts? Yeah, maybe. Is that how old you are? 34. Mm-hmm. Oh God, you guys look terrible, and I look terrible, but I'm almost 36. <laughs> 36 like a month. Do you drink much? Um, yes, and then I took a break. I took. I will take breaks from time to time. Yeah. See, if I have like a few months off drinking, then I look infinitely younger. Yeah. If I like decide a beer now, but then I, I kind of went off. I oh, went off the rails. This hey. guy that I yeah. Hey, I'm a mistress. And, That's um, when uh, the best poetry comes. Yeah. When you go off the rails. I'm a mistress, and my dude's chick was gone, and I haven't seen him for like months. And so we had like a free for all this weekend, and it was whoo, was it a bender? I was doing. <laughs> now the mistress arrangement is you pay, so you're being paid to be someone's mistress. Um, yeah, not like, um, not like a monthly, not like a wage wage, but I get perks. So I have a really fun kind of bougie lifestyle that like little perks that help me get around the city. Sure. Um, you and can't then, pay your rent with it. Oh no! If I wanted to, I could ask, but I don't like doing that because then when I because I make money doing comedy, and I don't like I don't like that. All that if he gives you all that money, then you're she super won't be in. demeaned by selling her underwear. <laughs> you know, she's making money at comedy. How did you know? But yeah. so it's you like want, I get admit perks. to like having like a bartending shift, you know? No, um, okay. but but yeah, so I went on a bender this weekend, and holy fucking Christ, I, we took Molly. We did a bunch of coke, Ooh, awesome. and then we took Molly, and I was like, I don't think the Molly's kicking in. And then we watched a documentary on Steven Spielberg. There's some documentary on Netflix. I'm like, I don't feel the Molly. And then the documentary came on, and they showed the clip from ET, and we both started crying and like holding hands. And I was like, Oh, I'm a drug addict, and he's 60. And he's <laughs> drugs. 60 years old. Yeah. Wow. Is he hot? 60 though. Yes. Right. That was a, that. That was a hard. That's still, that's still pretty like fucking old. Like even if you're an attractive 60 year old, you're still a fucking granddad. Like you're old. I know. That's I'm like into that though. The incest yeah. thing. That's why. Like I know before we you were like, oh, you guys be whoa, 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 you went from like older guys straight to incest. All right. Yeah. Well, I know we were like riffing earlier. We we're joke riffing about like uncles fingering you. I mean, you were joke riffing right. about that, and now you're. I was. It wasn't. It was a joke riff. So much riffing as about <laughs> how you want to get fucked by a member of your family who's really old. Like, so much so, as it was a flashback. Let's not, let's not ban this around that right. we were all involved in that fucking. <laughs> Conversation. That remember was entirely how, you. Do you remember how you 
started, continued and finished that conversation yeah. about wanting to fuck old people in your family. <laughs> that was you. That was you. It was different. Yeah, that, that was having a flashback slash request in case any of my family's listening. I'll okay, be home for Thanksgiving. Okay, if you guys want to like, record your own demo for like gas or whatever, you should totally do We're that. We're doing it right now. This is <laughs> yeah. what this podcast is today. Um, but we have to go because I, I have a spot in Astoria because I'm like a stand-up comic. So I'm going to go there. You're not even going to do a, a one-hour podcast. You've got 11 minutes left to hit the one-hour mark. You would look at that. Like, who cares? Like, you're you're going to be boring in the beginning, boring in the comedians. middle, boring at the end, Leech. So who cares? All right, Stop. Cool. All right. So that's it. That was, that, was our, that was our chat. Thank right? you so much for coming. How long are you in town for? Uh, just... <laughs> Just until Sunday. Uh, all my dates can be found at jeffreyleach.com. And there's a live dates and you do page live? on there. And you do, do like gamer shit, yeah. right? Yeah. What is Twitch? It's like a gaming broadcast service. I do comedy and gaming and all sorts of weird characters on there. So I do that six days a week. Find me at twitch.tv slash jeffleach. And then at jeffleach on all social media sites. Fuck off. I'm so pissed I just learned about the Twitch thing. Because I know that's the way a lot of people make money yeah, off of that. Yeah, I make some that. money off that, you yeah. You son of and a bitch. And I don't bitch. have to fuck any old men either. It's It's delightful. Ah, oh, well, neither do I, because if you feed them enough Coke, they can't get their dick up. Boom! And then I, hey. There we go. Huh? That's how we wrap it. <laughs> Guys, thanks so much for tuning in to the yeah. Shame On podcast. Of Gav Let car. me hear it for our wonderful host, Give it Wendy. Up. <laughs> Thank you so much. I've been your guest host. Our special guest who's been half here, half not, Karen yeah. Fian. You're welcome. And, uh, and, give and, it up me. For, and give it up for... Uh, I'm Wendy, so you guys know me. I'm, I'm on every show here all give the time. Up. Give it up. Uh, give it up for the Jew. She's gone. <laughs> Micah Fox... <laughs> I hope you're having a great time at the YouTube studios <laughs> doing Nickelodeon. She's playing the wacky teacher. I think she has mono. I think that's what it is. Mm-hmm. She's no. in the new Logan she shouldn't, Paul She won't be with us for rap much longer. Video. Maybe it could be that. Okay, I'll if work she's on, sold out, it's going to be that. I'll work on my shit talking. Um, thanks, Ricky. Good job. We didn't do the thing because I didn't tell him. So Do the it, thing. What's the thing? What no, is it? It's all of it. I'm sorry. I what? couldn't. I couldn't, like... Like get a co-host and like do the tale of shame thing. I couldn't complete What's the task. What's the tale of shame? What's the tale of shame? He's supposed to tell a story about when he was embarrassed. Didn't I send that? Didn't I tell you that? No. Fuck. It doesn't matter. Um, we hate you. Bye. <laughs>